All right, guys, welcome back. We are halfway to building our application, and so far we have a server that takes requests. We also have a router to route the requests. So just to recollect, if we have, a, let's say we run node app dot js, and we make a request to a review page. It says request received for review and then routing a request for review and if we make a request to our home page it says request received for home routing a request for home now all we need to do is handle these requests so let's create a new module con called handler so new file and save it as handler.js let's put it at the end okay let us first create two functions, one to handle a request to the home page and the second to handle a request to the review page. So function home and let's just console.log executing home handler. All right, and then a second function. So function review and this is going to be executing executing review handler now let's go ahead and export these two functions so exports dot home is equal to home and then exports dot review is equal to review now, how do we make the router aware that these two request handlers exist? Well, we're going to start off from our app.js again because this is the entry point for our application. It's going to include all the modules. So, variable handler is equal to require. Now, since this is a module that we have created, a dot slash and then handler. Now, how do we assign a handler for a particular path? For that, we are going to be making use of the key value pairs of our object or the name value pairs. So let's create a new object called handle and then assign it empty brackets. Now we can say that handle has a name. So let's say the name is home, then call handler.home, which is the home function and handler module so by using the name value pairs of an object we are able to assign a handler to a path name so similarly we can have handle of review and this is going to be equal to handler dot review now that we have included the handle object let's go ahead and pass the handle object so in our start server function add a second parameter called handle now that's great we have passed this additional parameter so let's go back to our server.js module and modify the code so next to our route we are going to pass handle and within this route function route path name let's again specify the handle so route of handle path name now now that we have specified the handle parameter to our route module so let's go back to our route function let's go back to our router module and modify the code now we also have an, the handle parameter again now after we say that a request received for path name, let us first check if a handler exists for the particular path name. So if, oops, if type of, let's say handle, and this is going to have the path name, and triple equal to, and then function. then 
we are going to call the appropriate handler so handler sorry handle of path name then this is going to be a function okay if there is no handler then we're going to say console.log no handler for this particular path name now let's go ahead save handler.js save router.js save server.js and save app.js let's restart so node app.js it's going to start the server let's refresh our home page URL and let's see what happens so request receive for home routing a request for home and then executing the home handler so let's trace it out and see how this works when we run our app.js it is going to call the start server function of the server module and in a start server we are going to be passing the route function from the router module and then this handle object which contains the corresponding handler for every URL so once the start server is called it goes into our server module and first it is going to extract the path name using the URL module and then we are going to be passing the handle object and the path name so when it encounters this route handle comma path name and goes to router.js excuse me and here first we check if a handler exists if at all it exists so right now our path name is home so handle of home is triple equal to a function so if you go back to our app.js we have handle of home so it does exist so if it exists we are going to be calling the appropriate handler so handle of path name is going to be handle of home and handle of home has a value handler dot home that means to say the home function and the handler module so the execution gets transferred to the home function and it is going to log to the console executing home handler now if you have a look here we also have the fav icon request but we don't have a handler for that so it says request receive for fav icon routing a request for fav icon but no handler for fav icon so we have in a router.js if we don't have a handler then we are going to log no handler for path name now let us <coughs> excuse me let me quickly show you another one so let's say we have handle and it's going to be just a forward slash and once again it is possible to assign the same handler to multiple URLs so once again let's assign handler dot home save it save everything all right now if you go back cancel it and start the server again and instead of the home we can just have the forward slash and if you check in our command prompt it says request received for just a front slash routing a request for just a front slash but we are going to be executing still the home handler so that's how you handle requests that a router is going to route and in the next video let's make our handler respond to the browser request so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video